Bring Director X coming out, man. Hey. Hey, congrats. Thanks, bro. I'm good. So I, after listening to the, the words of that song, I f I'm afraid to ask you any questions. <laughs> Are you nervous right now? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all the artists that I've talked to through the years, it's funny how many of them hate making music videos. Sometimes it's just like it's the worst thing. It's such a long day. A lot of artists love them, but some artists hate mm. them. When I watch a video like that, I have to imagine that everybody there had the time of their lives. Yeah, everyone had a good time. <laughs> Hip hop is a little different. I know the rock bands are like, ah, videos. I don't want to do videos. Ah, videos suck. Hip hop, we like making videos. The artist might. <laughs> <laughs> the artist likes it. Everyone, everyone has a good time. But that one is actually a little different because, you know, all the extras in that video. You Normally, know, you do a party video, and it's a bunch. You have a bunch of kids, and like, I just did Jeezy's video, and now I'm gonna do this one, and I'm gonna leave because I want to go, and it's, you know what I'm saying? Like, everyone's over it because they do all the videos. Right. These kids have never done a hip hop video before and will never do one afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> you know so that part in the video of Wayne and there's the girl and everyone's just freaking out. They just we just lost control. They just they just said, fuck it. We're never doing this again. I'm going in. And the kids just, <laughs> just grabbed Wayne and they're joint like everyone just looked like you saw people are standing on tables. Like this was not staged. <laughs> it's just literally just went there. Did I hear you in an interview say that at the height of that when Lil Wayne just freaking out like he ran out of film we rolled out it actually gets crazier when they're so when they're bobbing everyone's going and there was a point when the place went absolutely batshit crazy and we rolled out of film so we don't even see what really happened we don't really it, re it actually got crazier than that I mean like if you see the video again there's like a kid he's fully doing his hip-hop like hype man thing on the side and there's the blonde lady who has her arm around Wayne and like the whole crowd is just it's Literally, just is just fucking gone. <laughs> every every <laughs> it all works, but the whole thing's just gone completely left, and you're just like, all right. <laughs> you know, what's interesting to me about music videos is, is that there was a time when, okay, music videos are getting played all the time, MTV, much music, everybody's playing them. Then things changed a little bit, and people were like, well, we don't know if you need music videos anymore. And then all of a sudden, YouTube started becoming this place, and, and all these other places you could put the video where all of a sudden now music videos were breaking bands, right? But with someone like Drake, everybody already knows who he is. Everybody knows Drake. So when he's making a music video, he doesn't need to make it so pe more people know who he is. What is it he wants to do? When you have these conversations and the times you work with him, what is it he wants to do when he makes a video? Well, it's actually, especially for this video, this is the one I think kind of clicked in his head. You know, I, I was, when I had the conversation, I was actually at, at Def Jam listening to a Justin Bieber record for Boyfriend. There was like, they wouldn't even send the record out. So as I'm in that office having that meeting, then this conference call happens and Drake is like, well, you know, videos don't matter anymore, but I need to make something that does, that people are gonna talk about and get excited about. So I've been sitting on my Jewish heritage for a while and I'm gonna do it now. And it's because he knew it, it meant something. And even the video we just did with uh, Started From The Bottom, he, that's his philosophy. You know, he comes from a generation watching the videos that, in, that my generation made, you know. So those guys would watch Puff, he's in a private jet, and then the jet explodes, and he parachutes out, and he lands in the desert, and soldiers pick him up, and then they get in Hummers, and then they drive to a castle, and he dances with Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> that's it. That was a video for Puff, you know what I'm saying? And we constantly were making these, everything was big, everything was epic, and you know, Drake was a teenager then, like, wow, one day I'm gonna make a video. And they're like, all right, Drake, here's your white psych. You know what I'm saying? Make a joint, make it hot. And it's just, the money wasn't there, the excitement, just none of the same elements existed there. So I really feel like he's he still wants to make those videos, and he's in the position where he can push the, the boundaries a bit to make something along the lines of what he grew up watching. You know, in Canada, we're very lucky to have things like Much Fact and Factor, where independent artists can access the money to make a video. And I remember the first video fact grant I, get, I got, I think it was for, it might have been for $12,000, and we made a video. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, get, and then at one time I was like, oh, we got $20,000. I'd like to know your history with making music videos and being in this country and in the US. What's the least amount of money you've had to make a video, and what is the most? <laughs> All right. You don't least, need to tell me who if you don't want. I no, just I need to know the dollar the figure. Least, I at least think the least was like ten, six or $10,000.
probably like that shock layer, the first shock layer video I did, uh, What It Takes with Julie Black. And then the most was $1 million for the Thong Song remix. The apology video for the original million dollar thong song video that had no ass in it. <laughs> Everyone's like, where's the asses? So they said, X, fill this video up with a million dollars of ass, please. <laughs> and if you ever see it, we, we, the money's on the screen. I looked at my rule from 2000 just the other night, and we built a giant stage with the dragon and shit's blowing up and fucking fireworks are everywhere. Like, one thing back in those days is we put the money on the screen. So you, you told me a little bit about what Drake wanted to do with this music video. What about you? Like when you when you get a song or an artist comes to you or, or the label comes to you and says we want to work with you, what what do you feel like your function is? What is your job as the director in taking a song and putting it to a music video? Well, I feel that um, we're really trying to visualize uh, what the the essence of the song, you know. Like what is it? Not so much just what the lyrics are, especially when you're dealing with hip hop. You, you know, there, it's a, there's an energy that they're trying to get, and then when you start getting to perhaps the R and B stuff, or now that electronic music and R and B have kind of merged, what's really being said, and trying to get in somewhere there. So when the kid watching it, or the person watching it, sees it, there's it feels like it's been moved forward, as opposed to just random images. And I know, I know there's there's that kind of trend for recently where they're like, the song's called Rain, but we're gonna do it in desert. And I'm like, no, no. <laughs> if it's rain, fucking make it rain. Put the rain in the fucking, like, like make the song come to life. And then, like I said, I just feel recently I've, I've walked into a few people like, the song's called Lightning, but we don't wanna see lightning. Oh, put fucking lightning in the video. The song's called fucking lightning. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've had this conversation literally with a song. Like, if that's what it's about, put it in the record, make the record come to life. Because when you read the comments, now we can read the comments. Some kids definitely are like, what the fuck does this guy do with anything? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So what are, you, what are you working on next? What are the next couple of things we'll see? Um, finishing off a Sierra video. So that's, uh, we're just finishing off the edits on that. You want to talk work ethic, that's a girl with work ethic. Like, Sierra's pretty serious about everything. Like, she hit me today, like, I got a comment on a shot. <laughs> so, yeah, female artists are like that. <laughs> you, oh, it's a good thing. The female artists are on top of their ones. Oh, the female artists. No. Fe let me say, the female artists, especially the female hip hop artists, but the female artists are on their shit in a way that no male, even the top male artists that I've worked with who are on their game are nowhere near a Foxy Brown or a Nicki Minaj or a Sierra. They're in the edit. They'll, you changed the dissolve that was. <laughs> that fade to black wasn't there before like they know every single shot every single moment of it and I, I figure it's just because it's you know being a female in the entertainment business you either gotta you gotta if you're gonna survive and really be that kind of artist that's still making videos and doing things you really gotta you know cross the t's dot i's and all that kind of stuff you can't play games do million dollar music video budgets exist anymore um maybe to the label you know they might give us X amount, $100,000, but then, you know, like a Rihanna video, it may not hit a million bucks, but the first video from Rihanna is definitely gonna be hundreds of thousands of dollars when, the, when it's all said and done, like I said, with the record label, after they've added on top of the video production makeup and, da -da 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 and yeah. all the costs that they gotta do. So, you know, if, if you're a big, dutty, international, 500 million view artist, you'll get some paper for your video. How much is that spent on lunch? Uh, lunch, oh, for the <laughs> artist, I don't know. For us, we still get the craft service truck. <laughs> cool. Thanks, man. Thank you, man. All right.